Today I'm here with uh, Fireman Salino and he's going to talk a little bit about what it's like being a fireman and what it's like working in the engine room. Uh, you had to learn a lot. Yeah. A lot you had to learn. It was everything outside of the engine room, all like the little, little auxiliary equipment, like the boat davit and you just did security rounds, just walk around, make sure that this is both not on fire or flooding. And, uh, all the refrigerators, ACs, everything's in parameters. So now we're gonna walk around and look at the different machinery and nice see how it all works. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with everything in main control and he's gonna explain what it is and what the readings are for. Well, so the thing behind here is the uh, switchboard, which is like the electronic part that the generators, um, these are the readings for the generators for the most part. Uh, I don't really know how electronics work, they're really confusing, but um, this is one, there's another, and the one right there is the short side, so that tells you if we're on shores, shores power, that tells you the power. The diesel engines, the blue ones are the turbine, the, yeah, turbines, like jet turbine, and then the yellow ones are the control pitch propellers, which is like the, uh, where the rudders, rudder posts come down, the the propellers that move the, like move the boat, it controls the pitch of them. So if you have it straight, the boat's not going to go anywhere. If you have it flat, it's going to pretty much stop the boat. And if you turn it, it's going to start moving it. And our shafts, unlike other boats, our shafts only spin one way. And if we wanted to go backwards, instead of spin, turning the uh, propellers this way, we turn them the other way. And that's how we go backwards. And then this console is where we can turn on, off, we like just control the speed of the boat they uh you you think that like up in the bridge where the boat's mates all work they do it all that but they really don't they steer the boat which is stupid easy so this is where the actual magic magic happens on moving the boat we've got one on the other side too the, the boat is literally parallel to each other on either side you got two of everything so this is a generator this is like uh it's a eight cylinder v8 it's a um a two stroke and so if you know how a motor works, it's pretty much the motor uh, is plugged in, motor spins, and then does whatever you need it to do. The motor generator side spins, spins that and that creates uh, electricity. The whole area right here is the intake for the turbines, for the air. Um, it goes all the way up there and this right here is where the air intake for the mains are. So the turbines, the turbines connect right there, and the main diesel engine connects right there to this thing called the red gear. It's the reduction gear. It kind of works like the uh, the um, transmission in the car. It just transmits the energy to a shaft, an output shaft. Thank you for sharing all that useful, helpful information that made no sense to me, but hopefully y'all there will find use for it. And um, make sure you ask questions down below, and I'll probably ask him, and then comment back. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for future Coast Guard videos. Thanks guys! Hello! And welcome to the Coast Guard Cutter Melons engine room. Here we have one of our generators. This will be the number one generator here. Powers our ship. We have another over here. <laughs> Currently, we are doing a diesel engine inspection on our engines, which are way outdated and overdue. So we're not going down here. But, and here, we have Master Chief. What do you need? Hi, how are you doing? Master Chief and his ever present coveralls. We can't really go down. What is this? Uh, we are, they got to pull this entire thing off. Oh really? The entire coffin cover has to come off. Yeah. These are our boilers. What do they do? They generate steam for the ship. Uh, this is what we use to dry the laundry. And it also heats up our evaporator so that we can make clean water for drinking and shower. What's going on down here? Oh, that is one of our stored air compressors. We use 
those to literally start the engines. Oh, well, that sounds important. It'd be very important. So they start all of our engines in the engine room. We use air to start them, not, uh, not actual electricity or anything. Right. As you can see, normal government work. We've got two guys working and four guys standing around with their hands in their pockets. <laughs> Good work, guys. I'm proud of you. Woo! The I'm not eating random food now. I'm actually working. Yeah, working. What are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm operating. Look how dirty my hands are. Look at that. You can't see in the light. <laughs>